What's up guys, I'm out here at the scrap pile. I wanna to talk to you about heat exchangers. Heat exchanger safety. Ream furnace or a rude furnace. Typically where you're gonna find those cracked is if it's not cracked on the first main cell that comes at the first bend the first bend of the tubular heat exchanger is always the weakest point just because it gets really really hot there but we find these and you can find these pictures online this is the last um, collection plate let's see before it uh this is the last pl collection plate that, it, that the gas comes out of before it goes to the collector that the combustion motor is hooked to. And what you'll find on these um, is these little tubes will pop out. So if you, this one, this one's okay. It was just an upgraded system, but um, you can't really say that you check this heat exchanger if you can't see these because they will pop out of there. As far as these other style heat exchangers, like the old clamshell style heat exchangers, like this, you've got to just douse those with water. I mean, completely douse them with water. Pull your burners out, pull your burners out. Um, and then this furnace is tipped upside down. So you would douse, douse heat exchanger with water, pull your burners, and then expect the heat exchanger from the inside. And if any water comes through, you're gonna see a really dark spot. It makes it very visible. It's a very effective test. Uh, if anybody says that, that you know, don't, don't get them wet, it's gonna avoid, you know, make them rust out sooner. They're full of crap. Totally ignore that. Just do it. You're not, you're doing a disservice if you're not hitting water on these clamshell style heat exchangers like this one because you're gonna find more cracked heat exchangers that the visible eye cannot see. Uh, if you wanna go a step further, heat that up, heat it up, uh, like turn the burners on, let it burn for a minute, let that metal expand, then pull your burners, then hit it with water. Uh, just don't get it too hot. As long as it's just warm, that will expand the metal. And I found cracks that, were, that water could not get through until the metal was warm so these type heat exchangers like like this one you really just have to physically see them so you're gonna have to pull the burner pull the burners and actually get in there to take a look at it what you'll find on these is these little dimples either right in the middle of the dimples will rust out or around the dimple will rust out or they have rings these are i just think of these like big rivets these are kind of like big rivets that hold the two pieces of metal together um and what you'll find is those rings will pop out so you have to look at these you have to look at this because sometimes the rings will pop out and land on here or they'll be on the blower shelf. And if you you can't feel around the blower shelf at least, like I'll pull the blower, stick my hand up there. If I find a ring, that's a bad heat exchanger because it means that these two pieces of metal have separated because the ring's not holding it together anymore. And if it's separated, it's two holes in the heat exchanger, basically one on each side. And it's just from excessive expansion and contraction. So guys get your water bottles out get your spray pumps out whatever but you gotta douse the uh, heat exchangers the clamshells heat exchangers you gotta douse them with water those you've got to physically get in there and look at them so every time I get to an old furnace I would get excited I would get excited because there's a possibility that this thing is cracked and I'm gonna be able to condemn it and not only that I'm gonna be helping the customer out by keeping people from getting sick because carbon monoxide at smaller doses that it builds up into the bloodstream it's extremely dangerous and it slowly will suffocate people because you don't you can't get oxygen in your 
in your blood, I believe is how it works. So it's a serious thing. It's not something you want to take lightly. Um, and that's our job as professionals is to get in there and ensure that the system is working properly and it's safe.